can't stop, won't stop, can't stop, won't stop. No, I'm just kidding. I don't. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I was Mrs. Yappy, Yappy, Mc, Yap, Yap. No, that's not funny. Um, I don't know. I was rambling like a mother in the other. Uh, <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. In the other video that I was doing of this. So initially, I was doing a whole application and everything from the brush to the, you know, one side the brush, one side. It's like it is one side the brush, one side. Um, the beauty blender that wanted to suck all the damn foundation away. <laughs> Basically, I did it and then it got cut because my my laptop died and I don't have a nice fancy camera or fancy lighting or anything like that. I got some really nice glare in the background. You see that? But anyways, um, dream a little bit. Uh, <laughs> This is a nice, it could be a nice background, but I just wish there wasn't so much glare, basically. Um, I'm not too sure how to, like, configure it to where I would get a nice, what is it, uh, sun, sun, you know, sun is the best, right? Isn't sun, like, the best kind of lighting or whatever, supposedly? But even so, it's not like you could see anything. I look flawless, and I don't look that flawless in real life, you know what I mean? Like, it just, everything looks a little bit, um, what is it called, fuzzy. But hey, thank you for watching. Um, so this is going to be not only a Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation, but a Can't Stop, that's the HD, Can't Stop, Won't Stop concealer. The new one that I was able to get my hands on because I am platinum slash I'm really diamond. But platinum can get it too. So um, I bought that with some Ariana Grande Sweet Like Candy little gift set for 58 bucks um i can get i can get free shipping with 25 bucks i wish it was free it should be free because i'm diamond but whatever so i basically spent 20 bucks with these two items because i it's 15 it's 14.99 and it's 8.49 350 off with anything over 15 at ulta so basically it was 20 bucks for the both of them. So you could think I only really paid five and then I paid 15 full price for this. You could think of it like that or you could think 10 and 10, but that would be, that, was a be, that would be a hefty concealer for only getting 3.5 grams or milliliters or whatever, you know? So basically what I was trying to say is initial application. This is like second. I could call this first impression review type of thing but this is really like second impression i already have a first impression but i've changed my impression of this can't stop won't stop foundation so initially i tried it i was dry <laughs> like the sahara desert i was so freaking dry i was like you know what i'm dry right now haven't like exfoliated my face in like freaking six months let me just be dry for a minute i'll just prime like a dry person would, I used the Hangover Primer from Too Faced, and I was like, let me just see if this sucker will calm the dryness. Obviously not, because that's all I used before I actually applied, and I was still so dry. Clings to the dryness, little cakey, little bit, like, I mean, it's not too cakey, it's really not, because, like, it doesn't look like skin, but it's not like cake. <laughs> You know, I look like I'm wearing something, but not too bad. Like, it's not cakey, but it, but it's, it's, it's not skin-like to where it looks like you're literally wearing no makeup, but you understand. So basically, it was really bad. I hated the initial application. I was not happy with it. It was just clinging to the dry skin, and it just, it didn't look good. But it's funny, I slept in it, and I know you're not supposed to. Don't even lecture me on it. But I slept in all my makeup. For you guys. No, I slept in my makeup. Like, I wore it for like 20 hours. Next thing you know, wake up in the morning, still have some on my face, but it's crazy. Crazy. Here's the, here's the kicker. It was dry. Like, it was drier. Like, I was, like, dry, like, everywhere. Like, it was still a little bit on my, like, still had some stuff on my face. It was, you know, you could call it patchy because, but, like, it was so dry. My face looked drier than it was initially. Like, it was crazy that it, it looked worse. And I was so upset. Like, I thought, you know, for sure it would get at least a little oily. Not 
not really at all. <laughs> like, like I patted my head and I was like, yeah, not really oily. Like, you know, not really. Like, but it, it looks so dry though. Like, it was crazy. So I was thinking initially, I was like, this is probably perfect for oily people. Dry, like normal to oily people, this is probably perfect because I'm dry right now and it's terrible for me, but like oily people would probably love to basically stay throughout the whole day, hopefully staying dry, staying mad. <laughs> so I'm, I still think that conclusion is potentially true that oily people, depending maybe on how oily you are, maybe if you're an oil slick, maybe not, I don't know. But like, this is potentially a mwah, perfect foundation for you because of the fact that if you're that oily, and I got for some reason drier, <laughs> maybe, but still, maybe you won't get that oily because you'll stay basically matte. Maybe not for 24 hours. I don't think anybody needs to wear it for 24 hours. I really wish they would stop with the 24 hours. Come on. Even 25. I hate when they do that. That's so stupid. But seriously, like, it should maybe hopefully last you throughout the day without really getting oily. I would think, but I don't know. I just know that when I finally did today, I scrubbed my face. I maybe scrubbed it a little too hard because upon application of the, the brush, you need to do this versus smear because the smearing smeared. With, with this Ulta, it brushes for Ulta. It, it's, it's not a bad brush, but like I just didn't like it with the application of like doing like that, like even like swirling or whatever, it, it didn't work, it, it didn't work, but patting it in or whatever, like stippling, good, so basically, I was like, okay, let me see how it is after like application, like, you know, like scrubbing my face, cleaning my face, everything, like putting moisturizer and also the primer again, it was much better, much better, I'm like a whole new person again, but now, like I said, for some reason I'm burned, on application. I have no idea why. I don't know if maybe like there was a little bit left of like um, soap on the brush or what. I don't know because like it was kind of burning a little bit. Like maybe I like put, I, I scrubbed my face maybe a little too much with that Visanti or what, but it's it scrubbed away those dead skin cells. I, I was, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's the Visanti scrubbed away the dead skin cells that I got in my um, like my Fat Fit Fun Bucks. And I think I've read the ingredients on Class DNA, COS DNA. It's a good site for like ingredients and knowing like what's good or bad, like what's safe or whatever. I think it's safe. So I mean, it might feel a little abrasive, a little, but it's it's, it's a scrub. <laughs> but I might have put a little too much pressure onto it because I was really trying to get that sucker away, like all the dead skin. But it kind of like burned a little. <laughs> It's fine now. Everything's fine now. But for some reason, I kind of like tink, like burned a little bit, a little bit. Like not, oh, it's burning, but like it just didn't feel amazing for some reason. I don't, know. I don't know. That was probably my fault. <laughs> but basically, this it looks so much better. But like I was like, ah, it looks medium, you know, with the like the one or whatever ish pump that I did. I was like, oh, it looks okay. It's like because I did two pumps initially with my beauty blender the other day and I thought oh, okay it's like medium but like compared to this brush when I did one pump with this brush I was like okay it's 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 like medium right it was like light coverage when I did this because all the product got soaked up I didn't even apply it on here I applied it on my face but like I didn't really rub it in with like the brush and then pat it in I probably should have done that because like all the freaking foundation got soaked up into the beauty blender it was ridiculous so i'm like patting the foundation and it's just looking like light coverage but i will say it looks more like skin like i love how wayne goss always says like looks like skin or whatever i love him like it, it looked more like skin than this side but it's more coverage on this side than this side so it depends on what you want i guess but um basically I had to do like practically, I had to do a little too much. Like I felt like I was doing like two or so pumps on this side to try to get not the same coverage, but a still a type of medium coverage, like a light medium coverage, I guess, more than a, I guess this is just like a medium coverage. You can kind of maybe see even in the like, that this is maybe a little bit darker or a little bit more coverage than this side. This side is the one with my zit, unfortunately. I covered 
to a good extent. It's a good, it's good coverage, you know, even with the Beauty Blender, but like, but yeah. So, I, like I was said, I would say that this me this is a medium coverage foundation. And I can put the little timestamps down below because I'm talking about mainly, I've just been talking mainly about the foundation. But I would say, because it's, what is it, one fluid ounce? Yeah. For $15, it is drugstore compared to like 40 bucks or whatever foundation. Like, isn't the Fenty like 40 or whatever? I don't know. But, and it has no alcohol denate, which is great because I know Jen Love's reviews said like alcohol denate is like in the Maybelline Fit Me and she loves that foundation, but now she can't because it's like, it has alcohol denate and that's bad. It's bad. So just like the, I think, isn't the L'Oreal like setting spray have alcohol denate? Guess what also has alcohol denate, <laughs> which is bad. It's drying and it's bad. Um, the hydrating foundation from Tarte Shape Tape. The Tarte Shape Tape, ta la, shart, the Shart, the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation has, the hydrating one, has alcohol denate, but the, the matte one doesn't. Can you believe that? And then alcohol denate is like the second ingredient in the Urban Decay All Nighter. I was like, why? Why? Okay, but that's, if y'all want to see like a whole like, I'm not going to like, I'm not trying to like put brands under the rug. Like, I'm not trying to like, beat them up for having this, these shit, you know, I, you know, ingredients in their products, but basically if you want more in details, because there's some, like, formaldehyde releasers and stuff, and some things that you wouldn't even know until, like, you might, like, look up and research and stuff like that, knowledge is power, people, but I can do that in a whole nother one, because that would, because I'm, I'm pretty upset about certain items that I was really loving, and now I, I, I'm, I can't love, like, the reason why I'm using Cover of X is because there's no parabens. Guess what's guess what has parabens? Laura say what the hell is wrong with you? Anyways, that's for another video. But like, if you like to know more about some things that have harmful things, I really think cost DNA is a really good thing for safety. It doesn't always tell you like what's a formaldehyde releaser. It, d it doesn't say. But like, basically, I can get into that in a different video. But what I wanted to say is, when I put powder, I didn't even put powder the initially for the can't stop won't stop foundation i did it this time and i think it didn't really change it it didn't really make it more dry not really so it hopefully should like last whenever i touched it it wouldn't like just come off but if you like wiped it it would kind of thing but that makes sense but it, it has pretty good lasting like it has pretty good like like non-transfer kind of thing but it, it will transfer if you don't price set it but not that bad ish i guess um so basically let's get onto the concealer so i was really upset with the concealer because i had i hadn't put on any eye cream or anything it looked like a patchy dryness kind of thing that was going on when i put it under both of my eyes it didn't look as bad under this one but this one had like more lines and it was just looking looking more old and lo looking not good. I couldn't like blend it to perfection. You know, it was just looking dryness and weirdness. Like I didn't like it. Second application. It's not, I feel like it's better today with the eye cream, but guess what? It's so weird. The Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation maybe doesn't mix with the Can't Stop Won't Stop concealer because this part right here looks absolutely god awful and you can't really see, but it's like separation. There's separation. There's cakiness there's dryness all in one area this area it's like a little bit of drying cakey too but like it's not really that bad as bad and it's not really separation this is before even my glasses you know I was thinking isn't it funny if the foundation blends better with the HD one more than the can't stop won't stop isn't that funny that's weird it's ironic Either it's that, or it's, I use the brush with this one, and maybe the, the beauty blender with this one helped it make not such a big deal. Like, it, it's not as bad on this side as this side. Maybe it's the brush. Maybe it's, maybe it doesn't mix very well with the foundation for some reason, even though they're both can't stop, won't stop. I have no idea. So basically... The Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation, I'm not really a huge fan of it because of the fact that it's so dry, but 
I noticed something so weird. So the HD foundation, the HD concealer, I was like, okay, they're both alabaster, by the way, but they're both, like, they're two different colors. It's weird. And yes, this container has, like, a tiny bit more. You can see it has, like, a tiny bit more in there, and it's probably because it has 3.5 versus 3, but they're both 0.11 ounces, which is weird. It should say more ounces here. But by the way, looking up 0.11 ounces, that's actually 3.25. So either this actually has 3.25 or it only has 3. I have no idea. They just should change the 0.11 because it just it, it's weird that they're both 0.11. But they're this one's a little bit bigger than this one. I don't know. So basically, um, so basically, they're the same practically almost amount. This one lasts 12 months. This one lasts six months. Maybe it's, they both have phenexyethanol, which if you know, that's like a preservative that's in most things. Most things, I say. Just like most things are made in China, <laughs> most things have phenexyethanol in it. And it's, it's a preservative. It sucks, but it's not the end of the world. Um, It's decently safe. Decently. On like a scale of like, I think it's one to nine. It's like a four. So it's like, and, eh, it's okay. Um, But basically... I don't know why this one can last six, uh, 12 months, but this one can only last six months. No idea. No idea. But I actually think that might be better because it's not that big and maybe it has less preservatives. I know this has like two PEGs in it, but it's PEGs aren't too bad, but like it does have PEGs if you don't like that. It does have that in there, but this one doesn't, but this one does have like some, um, what are those, those pigments or whatever that are. I don't know, like, but they, they're they both basically safe. This one also has coconut oil in it. Maybe that's why it's more hydrating because when I initially applied it without any, like yesterday, without any powder, and even today, it just looks more natural. It might be a little less coverage and it might not last as long if you just put it on your hand and like wipe kind of thing. Like it might, this one, the Can't Stop, Won't Stop might last longer on that. But with powder, I feel like they both should last about the same with powder but without powder yeah it might but like at the end of the day this one then without powder the hd looks more like natural and even though it might need to be built up it can be built up better than this one because the can't stop one stuff kind of looks like it's like caking if you build it up too much and even though it's like medium and this one's like basically medium like, even though it's a little bit more, it's just like, I don't know, like, it's it's just drying, and it, you can't put too much, because then it'll cake, but with powder, they they both look, like, identical, it's crazy, without powder, I like the HD one more, because of the fact that it's less drying, you know, but they both kind of crease a little bit, you know, they both, you know, are basically like medium this one might be a little bit lighter this one might not last as long without powder but i think with powder like i said they will last the same you know they they both basically look the same with powder without powder like i said i like the hd more because it's less drying but at the end of the day this is five dollars i only paid 4.99 it rang up 5.99 but then she saw on the thing it said only 4.99 so i was able to get it for 4.99 5.40 with tax whatever but i had to pay 8.49 for this even though i was able to do like the whole like both of these together for like 3.50 off of 15 technically if that wasn't the case like, I don't have to say, oh, I only ended up paying five bucks for this. You can think of it like that. You can think of it like I paid full price for this and 350 off of this is five. You can think of it, but like, why would I pay 350 more? It should have just been five dollars to begin with, you know? Why is it, or if they're both like six dollars, I don't know if this was a mishap, but I got it for 4.99. But like, they both should be the same price. They're both basically the same amount. They both should be the same price. I don't care if this one's maybe a little bit more coverage, maybe a little bit more lasting power. But when at the end of the day, this is less drying than this. The can't stop, won't stop is too, it's it's more drying. It's more drying. And at the end of the day, when you put, push comes to shove, when you put the, the cover effects powder like I did, they both look practically identical. You know, so that means that they both last, if they both last, I can like update, but if they both last the same under my eyes with the powder and they both look about the same dryness, even though this one looks maybe a little less drying, cause like I said, it's, I feel like it's less drying. I just feel like the HD might be actually crazy, right? It actually might be better. And I, I just, 
it's crazy that they're the same alabaster shade, but like they're different colors, but they're similar, but they're different. Like this one's like more pinky. This one's more orangey, I guess, alabaster. But basically at the end of the day, they both can work. But I, I, I actually kind of really like the HD one more. Isn't that crazy? I feel like I like that a little bit more. It's weird. And it's, and it's cheaper. <laughs> like seriously, looking at, like, let me just make a point. I haven't tried it. But the Too Faced is 15 mils for $29. And that's high end. That's prestige. This, if I can get it for $5, 3 times 5 is 15. Or, I mean, <laughs> wait. It's it's $5 each. And there you have to get five of them to make, because it's 3 mils. So then it's, so it's $25. Okay, 5 times 5 is 25. But you only need, like, four of these, but you'll get 14 mils. But then that would be... $34 for four of these that are 3.5. You do understand that's $34 versus $29. So it's $5 more and you're getting one milliliter product less. You're getting 14 versus 15. Why would you want to pay? Just think of it as $34 for 14 mils. Just think of it. Just think of it like that. Why would you want to pay that when you could literally pay less and potentially, if it's that amazing, I have no idea. But people have been raving about it more, like, it's better. Oh, it's better. I like it better than the Tarte Shape Tape. Like, I heard that from somebody at, like, Sephora, and I've heard that from other people, like, because it's less maybe drying or whatever. Like, hello? Like, why would you want, if it's that amazing, I have to try it. But, like, if it's, I have it, but I haven't tried it yet. Like, put it to the test. Why would you want this? Like, to just travel with? Then you might as well get the HD because it's, it's travel friendly. But, like, I feel like it might be better. Like, seriously, it's crazy. And it's more of a fan favorite. At least you know other people have really liked this HD foundation, uh, HD concealer versus the Can't Stop, Won't Stop, which is brand spanking new. Like, nobody's even really re reviewed it. Hopefully. Hopefully nobody's reviewed it and I'm the first one. Woohoo! But, like, seriously, like, seriously. Like, I spent $8.50. I'm not saying I would bring it back. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll, like, play around with it. But, like, it's crazy to me that I actually think I might really like, at the end of the day, the HD one more. It's crazy. Like, it's really crazy. And it's, and it's cheaper. And it's, like, I mean, I might not love it compared to maybe, maybe let's say even the HD is better than the Can't Stop, Won't Stop, but, like, it's not, maybe it's not better than the, um, than the Too Faced. Now, if you're paying $6, like it rang up for, then it's, then it's 30 versus 29, so it's basically the same as the Too Faced. Um, the Too Faced is actually a dollar less. It's looking really bright. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, that's... I guess better. Um, then if you think of it like that, then it's like might as well if the Too Faced is better. But like if it's not, then if you only paid five dollars each, then it's then it's twenty five. Then it's four dollars less. Unless you still think at the end of the day that it's better to just get the Too Faced. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Like I'm not trying to push. Like I have not affiliated with any. I bought everything myself. I even bought the Too Faced one with the ten dollar off. I bought everything my own. All these thoughts are my own. All these thoughts are, like, 100% honesty. But, like, like I said, at the end of the day, if that one is amazing, it's like, why would you even want to buy something this small? Like, maybe for travel? Okay, fine. Because you don't want to lose a $29 bottle of concealer. I got it. But, like, at the end of the day, like, I just, I don't know if I would keep repurchasing this. Maybe, maybe not for, like, travel purposes kind of thing. But, like, I don't think it's 100% necessary to maybe, maybe every now and then. Maybe. But I definitely would not repurchase this. Like, it, it, there would have to be a miracle to change my mind. Because I really honestly don't think this is any better. If not, it's worse than the HD one. And it's more expensive unnecessarily. You know? Uh, the only thing I can applaud it for is being more for the minority because there's a ton of shades good for minority that they should be able to pick their shade and everything, and which is great. But I believe, shouldn't it be the same with the HD or no? But at the end of the day, like, I don't want to hear anybody that's my color or lighter say, oh, I can't find my shade or whatever because you know damn well that other brands cater to people like my skin color. And it's it's messed up. But... 
I don't want to hear anybody bitch because I know damn well if they do, you've been warned. Because if you do that, then people of color are going to come for your ass and say how much of a needy little baby you are that everybody else caters to you, but Nick's Can't Stop, Won't Stop is not catering really to you, so you're all pissy. Don't do it. I just want to help you out. Don't do it. Because I still am able to find a shade that can work. It's fine. Do not even bullshit, please. Please. I understand that they should maybe add a little bit more for the lighter, but they have, they can always add, but I think it's great that they have more so like catered to the minority because they never get catered to and they should like, we all should be equal. But anyways, like I was saying, I, I can't just say, oh my God, it's so amazing just because of that. I, I applaud them for that, but like I applaud like Alyssa Ashley, but like I cannot say it's amazing if I don't think it's better than the HD and I think the HD might be better you know and I just 850 is just too much personally I think save your coin I don't think you need it if you so want it if you desire it then fine but at the end of the day I say no I say HD is better I don't think either of them are amazing but I don't think they're I don't think the HD is bad for the price I think the can't stop won't stop should be better for the price and it's not you know what i'm saying anyways but the the foundation might be great for uh oily people like i really want to know like are you oily and have you tried it and is it great for you because i can see why it would but i can't see why it would be good for a dry person i think dry people isn't like kathleen lights dry i think she would i don't know if she's reviewed it but i i'm i wouldn't be surprised if she hated it because if she's dry, you know, like, I understand I'm kind of dry too, and I don't hate it, but, like, I could see, like, you would need to really moisturize to, like, be able to use it, you wouldn't just be able to just put it on, do you understand what I'm saying, anyways, I don't want to talk too long, but, like, hopefully this was very helpful, um, yeah, so I really, I honestly think either way you put it on, it's brushes, you know, you usually get more coverage anyways, but I think it's more like skin, with the um soaked up <laughs> beauty blender come on stop beauty blender stop like stop soaking up all my product um and then i you know i set everything with the cover of x powder but that's just my choice these are my choices but like at the end of the day i got the nude by the way can't stop won't stop foundation alabaster in both hd and the can't stop won't stop like i said at the end of the day Seriously, I really appreciate you guys watching, but I really honestly don't think it's worth the 850. If it was cheaper, if it was the same price, if it was if it was five and you're just getting a little bit more product, so be it. But to be honest with you, I don't like how dry it is. So I would still probably say no. <laughs> I'd still probably say the HD is better. Just saying. But maybe, just maybe, if you can't find your shade in the HD and you're, co you're a person of color, this might be better for you. If you can't find your shade in the HD one, then so be it. Because it's similar when you put powder. But I still say it's a little drying. A little bit more drying, you know. I don't know. That's basically what I'm trying to say. So it, 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 it's, it's depending on your circumstances. But at, at the end of the day, I will not be repurchasing. I don't know if I'll take it back, but I will not be repurchasing. I can keep playing with it, so be it, but I will not be repurchasing. 99.9% .9 sure. If I change my mind, so be it, but I really highly doubt I will. That is the conclusion. Thank you so much. I will continue to wear this throughout the day and maybe update, you know, the description box. I can always put, like, little markers or whatever. I try not to make it too long. I know it's 28 minutes. I apologize. It's not too long, but it's not too short. It's kind of like a first, second, kind of review kind of thing, but not 100% full wear, except for the first day. But the first day was kind of like not being kind to the foundation because I was really, it was really bad for being that dry and not exfoliating and everything like that. Like, but I really put it to the... I put it to the test on the first day, but, like, I didn't give it a fair shot. I wish I kind of gave it a fair shot and let it do 20 hours, because then I would have technically done almost the whole 24 hours. 
And then I could say a wear test kind of thing. But even though I wouldn't have check-ins, I would still have like a wear test kind of. I don't know. But at the end of the day, I really try to put it through the test. I'm trying to get it up as soon as possible. It's kind of like an emergency review kind of thing. But like I did I didn't want to just bullshit it, you know? I wanted to have some substance to it, but I I I know it's still long, so I apologize. But anyways, I love you guys so much. I will try to post this today, if not tomorrow. I need to post it as soon as possible though, really, technically. I don't know if I'll re-redo it, redo it or whatever, because I'm yappy, yappy, yappy. But I love you guys so much. Please subscribe if you're not already. Become a member of the Panda Family. Uh, like this video, comment down below. Nice comments down below. I love you so much, and I'll see you in my next one, all right? Peace and love, guys. Peace and love. <laughs>